Hey everyone, it's Elisa. Just wanted to uh, jump in here and give you a quick tutorial. I was asked by um, some people in the group if I could show you how to color match when you're adding in when you're adding in uh, boxes that were from different shoots. So I have here. This was the uh, the, the composite that I made couple of days ago and this is with the spider-man and my son so the spider-man was actually not shot by me they're not my they're not my pictures they're chelsea harris's pictures and um i made this little composite for my son because he turned 20 and he's a huge superman fan but actually these pictures of my son were taken two years ago almost two years ago for our holiday card so um i wanted to make him something quick and fun while i was in college so i decided to do just a quick fun four box. So as you can see here, I actually started to color manage. I should color manage most of them. But if you see the top left box, how blue it is compared to the warm colors and tones of the other ones. So what I want to do is show you a couple of different ways that you can color manage. But what's very important is that you need to really work on each individual layer at a time. So for example, if you look, I'm going to click on this layer of my son, the one that's blue. And now if you look in the layers panel on the right hand side, this is the layer. I'm just going to call this Jared because that's the layer I'm working with. And I'm also going to make it, I'm right clicking and I'm going to make it red so we can really see it. Okay. So this is the layer I'm working with. I'm working with Jared layer. I want to try out a couple of different options on how to get this layer to match the rest of the composite. So there's a few different ways to do it, but what I would do is I would start out with playing with different adjustment layers. Now, if I click over here on the top for the layer panel and I go to new adjustment layer and I could maybe choose hue saturation, I could choose color balance, I could choose levels, all of those could work. So um, I'm going to press levels because that's one of the fun ones to use. So now, I'm just going to show you something. I, I'm going to press OK, and I have a new le Levels layer right here. I'm going to make it red just so you can see what I'm talking about. Here's the Levels layer. Now, if I start playing in Levels, look what happens, OK? Basically, anything under that Levels layer is getting adjusted. But I don't want that, right, because I only want to work with this layer. These are not getting adjusted because they are above the layer. So you can see this is a Spider-Man layer. This is a Spider-Man layer. Those are not getting affected because they are above the levels layer. These two of my son are below the levels layer and they're getting affected, but I don't want both of them affected. So I'm going to, uh, bring my I'm going to just bring my levels all the way back. And what you should do is there's two options here. I'm going to actually get rid of this levels layer. I'm going to delete it. I'm going to do it again. So I'm, I have, I have highlighted and I am on the Jared layer, the red one to make sure that you're on there. I'm going to go to layer adjustment layer levels, but this time I'm going to click this little button right here. This says use previous layer to create clipping mask. So this layer, this levels layer is going to now be clipped to the Jared layer. So you can see this little arrow here. It means that it's only going to clip is clipped on. It's only going to affect this layer now. So if I go like this, look what happens. Only the top left layer now gets adjusted. So here's a cool trick that actually I learned from somebody in our group. Um, if you take this little uh, sample, it's a sample in image to set white point. So I'm going to press this little eyedropper tool. And I'm going to bring it somewhere in here. I'm just going to click on it and look at that. Voila. I have actually set my white point and it's pretty much all I really need to do. It really manages it very well. Um, you could go into the blues. What I did was I went here to blue and maybe even um, play around with it a little bit more just to even get, a, get it a little bit warmer. Uh, but this is really, this is a lot of trial and error. Okay, when you do something like this, trial and error, but you want to make sure that you clip it to the layer that you're working on. That is really, really key. 
All right, so you can do the levels. The levels trick is really an awesome little trick. It works often. Now, these are not perfectly color managed. I mean, I could probably still work on Spider-Man over here and make him a little bit more blue or maybe a little bit brighter, um, but much, much better already. So you can do that with levels. I'm gonna uh, delete the levels layer and show you another one. You can also go to layer, adjustment layer, maybe try color balance. Okay, again, clip it. Make sure you're clipped. Um, and then you can play around with uh, the difference. You know, they have midtones, shadows, and highlights. Just play. You know, I want this to be a little bit more uh, warmer. I could play and see what happens. I'm pushing the yellows, but that's kind of turning everything a little bit green. I don't really love that. If I went this way, I'm really blue. Um, maybe more in the highlights, it would push it. And that's really yellow. Just a little bit. Maybe I, I just play. I really do. I play uh, taking the cyan out a little bit. It's still a little bit blue. Um, maybe try some shadows. Really just play around with it. I mean, if, if you click this on and off now, it's a little bit better. It's a little bit warmer. Uh, like I said, it is trial and error. Okay. So one other thing to show you. So let's just say you're going to do a clipping mask. You're going to go layer adjustment layer levels. I really like that one the best. And I forget to click this button. That's okay. We, we want to clip this level five levels five to the Jared layer. You just right click on it and then you'll see a little option that says create clipping mask and then it's now clipped onto it. And that's basically it. I really like this option the best. I do that often. It really works beautifully with these boxes um, and that's that's pretty much it but like I said it's a trial and error I would try levels I would try hue saturation and I would try color balance there's probably other things to try also those are my go-to I'm sure that there's many others and please feel free in the comments to tell me how you would color manage because um, this is a whole learning curve for everybody so thanks for watching I hope this was helpful have a great day